Well, it is a day of adjustment for hundreds of hourly employees at GM's Fort Wayne plant. The factory began a phased in restart of operations today after about a two month shutdown over COVID-19. Jeff Newmeyer is live with more on why some workers aren't embracing the idea of returning to the job yet. Jeff. Yeah, Brian, only first shift workers represented by UAW Local 2209 had to report to work today. It's about 1,300 uh, people. Uh, it was sort of an orientation day. Uh, those workers came back to uh, a different environment than what they left in March when they uh, had that, of course, the novel coronavirus shutting things down. Uh, those showing up today had to have their temperature taken upon arriving at the plant. Face masks are now part of work attire, as well as safety goggles for the eyes. They can steam up and be a hassle for those on the line. Everybody expected to stay at least six feet apart as much as humanly possible and disinfecting workstations will now be ongoing standard practice. The vast majority of workers reported to take their shift. Some people, though, are asking to be allowed out of their assigned job duties for health reasons or because they don't feel safe working so closely to others. Hey, you know, I just don't feel safe. I don't want to be in the plant. I'd rather take a leave of absence without pay or I'd rather go on sick leave based on what my doctor tells me. We're going to have these temporary people that can probably fill in and cover some of them jobs. But we can't do that and run three shifts. Were you excited to get back to work? Um, no, not really. But, you know, I felt okay. I felt safe. And if you're sick and stuff, they don't want you to, to come in and stuff like that. Or if you feel sick when you're here to, to see the medical and, and leave. But yeah, it went pretty smooth. Yeah, and, so. and you're okay with coming back? Yeah, yeah, I'm going okay. Time to come back to work. I was getting bored. Now, with just one shift operating, you can pull workers from the second or third shift to fill in. That becomes more difficult when all three shifts fire back up soon. Union leadership, Brian, hopeful that uh, the numbers of those uncomfortable with returning to work are small enough that it doesn't make it impractical to, uh, to keep the plant running around the clock, which is the goal come early June. All right, we'll see how it goes, Jeff. Thank you for that.